We're Stephen Gamer here with the beautiful Bella, the spider princess. I just got her not that long ago, and guess what? I'm about to awaken her today for you guys, and I'm pretty excited about this because I'm um, hoping she turns into this big, giant, massive spider that engulfs the arena and destroys everything in her path. But seriously, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Uh, she'll be lucky to grow two more legs, I think. But anyways, let's go ahead, guys. I'm going to start this awakening because I'm excited about this right now. And I do have a celestial potion, which I'm going to use on her so we can speed up the process. So, boom, morning dew just for you. Yeah, yo. So, let's go ahead. Craft the morning, the flower of purity. Ooh, the purity of unarmed combat. The best that you can get. And then I just have to do bountiful caverns two times and then we'll move on to the next part so let's go ahead all right here we go guys let's go ahead the first time we're gonna have to actually do this one out so let's just go ahead and just overkill this as fast as possible guys with the best hero of all time batgirl and batman i just batman i wish batgirl was in the game though that would be pretty awesome bring in batman bring in joker bring in uh robin bring them all in who cares? Let's turn Soul Hunters into uh, DC Comics. Which they already have a game <laughs> that's kind of similar to this, but not really. Not even close. Alright guys, so let's go ahead. Let's finish this stage off. I'm just really, really looking forward to this transformation. Oh, I wonder what it's going to be. I'm hoping it's not really a just a stupid little transformation. Even though the Awakening ability, guys, is awesome. It does boost up her uh, stats a lot. Well, not really. I'll, I'll, I'll explain when I, we actually get to it in a little bit. But let's go ahead. Let's go back. Let's complete part number two. Part number three without anybody dying. Okay, that's very easy to do. But as always, make sure you guys mix it up between physical and um, magic. And magic. Yeah, let's do this. Why not? Physical and magic, uh, go forth, spiderlings. Hmm. There we go. There goes the spiders. Look at them spiders go. So if you guys want a more in-depth on her um, ability, guys, always go check out the spotlight video that I did on her not too long ago, actually. You probably already have seen it. So if you haven't seen that, you're probably going to, you know, wonder what the her first four abilities are. So if you want to... You know what I mean? Not be out of the loop. If you kind of want to know what she does, take a look at the spotlight where I explain all of her abilities first. And then this awakening is going to make a lot more sense, guys. Because if you don't really know what she does, the awakening is not going to uh, make too much sense, right? But if you already have her and you know what she does, then you already know that this awakening is going to be OP as hell. Okay, that's done. Oh, man. That was too quick, guys. Now we're almost there. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Woo! All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. This is it. Bella transforms right now. Oh, man, this is what I didn't want. They literally just added flowers to her hair. Come on, man. Oh, but the card looks awesome. Oh, oh, I like that. I like this card a lot. If, if you didn't see this card, you would never guess that she's a spider. Uh, you know what I'm saying? From this card, you cannot tell that this chick is a spider. You can tell that something's weird with her body, though. You just can't tell that it's a spider. Other than it says spider princess right there. But, here we go, boys. Let's go. Ooh, let's see. Any ruins I can give her? Physical toughness? Well, screw it. Why not? All right. Territory defense, guys. Now, let's see. Enemies that enter into Bella's territory will be stunned and tangled. Wow. Stunned and entangled. A spiderling will also appear next to the enemy and attack them. That's it. That's pretty sick, guys. That is actually really, really cool. Because if you already know, her territory will advance. Will, you know what I mean? Get bigger and bigger every time she uses her ultimate. And then we already know from her ultimate that if somebody enters her territory, they will lose, you know, energy by getting attacked. And your allies will get physical and magic attack. But now, not only are they going to lose energy, but they will also... Be stunned 
and entangled and then a spider will appear so this is pretty dope this is a sick ability guys i'm gonna go max this out right now let me see and one more boom so the only thing that it does is all right it works out all you know it upgrades the level so the level of your opponent so this is still pretty sick Woo! <sighs> all right guys let's go on to the next part to further enhance our bella all right here we are on the forge let's auto forge 20 times for that also slightly also slightly boost boosty mcdoosty but uh, to be honest guys until you really unlock you know the bonuses from the boost this little mini forge is not that big of a difference it's only upgrading her item her awakened item all right so just so you guys know it's not really doing anything else but uh, let's see, she's got magic pierce rating, magic armor, and magic crit rating. So those are all nice bonuses if you can get her all the way to the end there, but probably not. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's move on to the next part where we're going to take her into a battle. All right, guys. So as always, I have slowed down the battle so you guys can kind of take a look at everything in slow motion and see how the battles actually play out with Bella and the team. Now I've got a really kind of weird team going on here, as you can see. Mazir, um, Kazar, a lot of different situations going on, but... Let's pause it right there, guys, because I want to show you her ult, uh, her awakening right away, right off the bat. As you can see, I placed her on this team specifically because, check it out, Tanya, as you guys already know, she jumps to the back line and hits your um, hero with the lowest physical attack, all right? I don't know if you guys already know that already, but Tanya will always attack the hero with the lowest physical attack. In this team, obviously, my uh, Bella is only three stars, so she's going to be my lowest pretty much everything. So, boom, Tanya goes in there. She's within her territory, obviously, because Bella is all the way at the end. So right now, and thus her awakening skill kicks in. She is um, entangled, as you guys can already see. She's entangled by the vines, so that's part of it. So and it's stunned. You know, Tanya is stunned as well. So this is actually pretty cool. It's very, very strategic, guys. You can use this for a lot of situations. Uh, pretty much all the heroes that jump into the back line. Uh, Bella is a pretty good counter to them right now, so it seems incredible. Let's keep running this right now. Don't forget, oh, you can't really see it now, but there's a spiderling that also gets used. You know, as soon as somebody gets entangled, a spider comes out of her um, little territory there and starts hitting, you know, um, Tanya. And then you guys already know that the spiders, the spiderlings also have added bonuses effect depending on how many times you use her ultimate. But here she goes, look at Bella now at the top of Tanya. She's about to drop a bomb, an egg bomb on her right now. So it's also another cool ability that she's got. Uh, luckily, Tanya dashes away really quickly. And Tanya's got some pretty good lifesteal, you know. So she still, uh, you know, survives. And uh, to be honest, matching up Bella with uh, Mazir is not really great. Because um, obviously Mazir does AoE damage, as you can guys see right now with his ultimate. Uh, Mazir's ultimate is incredible. Does AoE damage and it sucks everybody into a vortex. But it's not really a good pairing with Bella. Um, now, in this situation, as you guys already can see, Tanya, don't forget, Tanya has the ability where she sucks away your your hero's energy. So that's why Bella never gets her ultimate off. And she lost a lot of her energy because she get, kept getting hit by Tanya and it kept sucking away her energy, which sucked. But nonetheless, guys, the battle will soon be over because uh, it's pretty much a kill uh, I mean, I found this to be a perfect pairing, which I will talk about in just a second right now. But so battle is over, as you guys can see. But the perfect, in my opinion, a great synergy, great pairing uh, is Aldred and Bella, guys. Uh, just breaking down their abilities really quickly. So Aldred's ability is he's going to cast his shield. He's going to, you know, put his shield up with his awakened ability. He's going to stop people from going, you know, in and out of, you know, side to side of the battlefield for one. For two... Um, by then, by that time, somebody's always jumped already, if you guys already know the battle sequence. Volko, Tanya, or whatever, whichever one of these heroes your opponent has, they've already jumped over, so they're already stuck on your side of the field. Now, Bella, on the other hand, she will boost physical attack and magic attack of your heroes on your, on her, within her territory, so it's a great pairing, um... And also, she's going to screw up your opponent that jumps over to her territory. So, pretty much, what um, Aldred is going to do is he's going to stop people from coming in and out. And she's going to boost their magic and physical attack. If you can get her ultimate off fairly quickly in the battle, which she does regain energy pretty quickly. If you can get her ultimate off, then it's going to expand her territory to midliners as well. Not just backliners, midliners. And then, they're all going to get a magic and physical boost. If you're going to have a team like this with Aldred and Bella... 
you definitely don't want heroes that are going to jump to the other side of your opponent's field all right so that's that's a bad pairing you kind of want to pair bella and aldred with uh heroes that will stay on your side all right kind of keep everybody kind of teamed up together so they can dish out a lot of damage so that's kind of my opinion on this kind of team setup guys that i've been you know trying to mess with a little bit but yeah so other than that i love the pairing i love bella's awakening i think it makes her literally it makes her so much better that entanglement in the beginning there that's gonna spell pretty much the end of a lot of um you know backline killers morphier volko tanya boy maybe even batman is going to be trouble for batman as well so a lot of different heroes that is going to affect and if you have other heroes like gremor or um I'm thinking uh, maybe Garek or something like that that can do a ton of damage at once to one of these heroes while they're kind of trapped. That could be a good possibility as well, guys. But yeah, so that's the battle sequence for you right there. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that battle right there because Bella is incredible. I'm loving her right now. I'm thinking about really working on her a few more because there's a few more days of the Conjuring Stone. Maybe I can take her to four. Hopefully, maybe in five stars, but it's going to be tough. Conjuring is, is not cheap, guys. It always takes some time. Our abilities are all maxed out. I got to actually give her a good pet here. I got some blue ones I can give her. So, you know what? Hmm. Maybe something like... Actually, I want more health or do I want more magic attack? Actually, more health. Mm, gives master magic. All right, that's fine. Let's give her that. It's just something a little small of a boost right there. So... I'm going to enchant all our abilities as well as you guys can see. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with where she's at right now. I really want to use her a lot more in the arena, on the streams. So I'm going to end this uh, awakening right here, guys. I will check you guys on the next Soul Hunters Awakening video. So then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.